Good morning, my friends on YouTube. Today is Thursday, December 8th, and the muzzleloading season just ended yesterday. Um, I hunted every day except for one day and didn't see a buck during daylight hours. I'm getting a lot of the big bucks back on camera now at night, so I know they made it through the gun season, so that's good. Um, usually the hunting gets better later in December we get, so we'll see. Unfortunately, in Wisconsin right now, today is the first day of a four-day doe-only hunt. Um, so not only would I have to shoot does, but I would still have to wear blaze orange because it's a gun season. So I'm not going to hunt the next four days. And then after that, we'll be hitting it pretty hard again. So I thought today would be a good day to get my Oneida back out. And... We're ditching the day gone. I already took the sight off. We're gonna take we're gonna switch strings out. I'll show you how I do that. Super easy. See you got this nice little nice little clamp there that I just put it right in. And then this just comes off. Now if you don't have a clamp or anything like that. You can just back out the bolts on the limbs until you can uh, use your arms to uh, condense the limbs and then take the string off. But I find that's a lot easier. Then you just put this one back on. Make sure I got it right. I think I do. I guess we'll find out when we get out there. Go like that. There we go. And she is back to fingers. So it's been a great year hunting. Really enjoyed myself this year. Um, when we go out there this is probably going to be off i don't remember if i had to change the rest when i put the or change the rest position when i started using the release because you know there's different different stress put on the arrow and the string when you shoot with the fingers than with the release so this is probably going to be way off here at first so we'll start off at 10 yards give it a look see See what it looks like here. Yeah, I'll say I'm going to have to switch that. Shot low and to the left. I was shooting for this right there. Hit the poor raccoon right in the ear. So I'll shoot at the upper one here. So yeah, I must have had to move it. Still to the left, but up and down was better. So I can probably live with the up and down. Actually, that wasn't really all that bad of a shot. Probably have to move the sight just a touch though. One way to find out, we'll go back to 20 and see how much to the left it goes. So I'm going to get back to shooting the Oneida the way, in my opinion, it was meant to be shot with fingers. That's just how I enjoy shooting it anyways. Uh, when it comes to hunting, I'll probably just use the compounds. So why not go back to the roots? If I get super good at this again, then by gosh, maybe we'll go right back to it. We're just going to aim for the center of it now. Okay, shooting just a hair to the left, it looks like. 
which makes sense because you're putting side pressure on with the fingers although that really wasn't that bad I was shooting for the center and just hit a little bit high okay do one more for the video so I hope everybody's having a good December here so far hope you're getting ready for the holidays Yeah, I guess there's really not much more to say. I'm just going to be relaxing these next few days, shooting my bow, probably get the recurves out, shoot them. Let's try the raccoon. That wasn't too bad. Ah, feels good to have the sight off this and not using a release with it. That's just the way it was. And shooting the compounds so much like that, that was actually a pretty day gone good shot. Shooting the compounds is giving my hand a chance to, to heal a little bit. It was getting really sore. So I think I might have just needed a break. So. I'm back to shooting it like that and now of course the recurves that's be getting them out again here pretty soon uh, good news is my son's coming back he'll be home for Christmas this year he's gonna be here on the 18th for I think 10 days or so, or so. so uh, maybe I can get him out in the woods with me or whatever so there's another doe only season at the end of December which kind of makes me angry they call it the holiday hunt but maybe I'll get the boy out for that. He can come maybe sit in the blind with me. Maybe we can get a doe then. But, all right. Just want to let you know what's going on and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Uh, probably next week, Monday, I'll be starting in the woods again. So, we'll catch you out there then. All right. Take care. Bye.